This is a $35 DJI Mavic, a $35 drone with first person view. This thing is so portable, it can fit right in your pocket. And it's fully controlled right from your smartphone, but with the price tag of $35, how bad can it be? Let's find out. Alright, so starting with the unboxing, it comes in a pretty small box. The brand is called JJRC and the model is called Elfie. I don't know, maybe they just misspelled selfie, you never know. But anyways, let's open it up and inside the box is the user manual in English just in case if you need it. And along with that, here's the drone itself. Size wise, it's lighter and smaller than my iPhone 7 Plus. On the top is the power button and we have a 0.3 megapixel camera with two front facing LEDs. And yeah, I kind of broke the left side while flying the drone. But yeah, on the back we have two red LEDs. On the bottom is our 4 extendable arms just like the DJI Mavic. And I call this a Mavic clone not because they copied the design but they did copy the functionality with the foldable arms and all that. But anyways we also have a carry case with some extra propellers. A USB stick to let you charge the drone and the battery is located underneath the drone and has a con you'll need to take the battery out every time you need to charge it. Which is kind of a hassle to be honest. But anyways, I'm sure you care about performance more than anything else. Now we have no controller so everything is controlled right from your smartphone. You can download JJRC app for iOS and Android and simply turn on the drone, connect your drone to your smartphone using Wi-Fi, open the app, hit connect once again and we are ready to roll. Flying the drone is pretty fun, control wise you're able to control it fairly well in no winds. But flying in a windy environment, it is bad. In fact, sometimes it gets so bad that no matter what you do, the drone will just fly with the wind. And after the drone is a little too far away, chances are you'll lose Wi-Fi connection. And at that time, the drone is literally flying in the air with no control. And it will continue to fly until it crashes somewhere or you're lucky enough to gain control before it crashes. But lucky enough, later on I realized they have this power control feature where you can change the power of the drone all the way to 100%. The default is 30% and I wasn't able to change the default settings but every time you fly the drone just change the power to 100% and trust me it really makes a difference. All of a sudden you're able to fly the drone against heavy winds and response times are so much better. I would have definitely liked if they had power to 100% has default but I guess this is one place where reading the manual really helps. Other than that, you're controlling it using a touch screen with no physical buttons to guide you so you'll often need to look down to touch the right controller. But for $35, it's really not a bad toy. Fly it in the open fields, keep it close to you, and it's a great little toy. Other than that, camera quality isn't bad. It's definitely not made for aerial shots, so I wouldn't really complain about how bad the camera is, but the camera quality is pretty bad. And as you can tell, the image quality isn't great either. It surely is the cheapest drone you can get with first person view. All photos and videos are saved right on your smartphone since there is no SD card built in. It flies good and it's fairly responsive, but keep in mind this thing being so small and lightweight, you won't be able to fly it really high or really far away. Just because this thing doesn't have the power to do so and you also risk losing control with poor connection. Although I didn't face any issues like that. Battery life is average, it's advertised as 500mAh and it will last you a good 15-18 minutes. But after about 8-10 minutes, you can feel the drone is losing power. It will start idling close to the ground and for me after about 8-9 minutes I wasn't able to make the drone go any higher than 5-6 feet in the air. But yeah guys for $35 it's really not bad. If your main purpose is aerial shots this might not be for you but if you're looking for a fun little toy it's worth considering. You can find them ranging around $35 on a lot of Chinese websites. But if you prefer to buy them from a secure website, I'll link to Amazon and eBay in the description box below. If you like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe for more content and as always, thanks for watching.